Want to get at the What's Happening Man? Hit him up anytime. Myron at What's Happening Myron.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm just having a great show and a great time uh, on today. Of course, uh, we just talked to uh, Brian Banks earlier and uh, we're talking about the, uh, the movie and also talking about the big event coming up on tomorrow. And uh, here in the studio with me is another person who's involved in this project, director, Mr. Tom Shadiak. Welcome to the What's Happening Myron radio show. So, what's happening? What's happening? What is happening is Friday the 3rd. 13th. We need Memphis to show up. I guess Brian told you he was an NFL prospect, mm-hmm. and he was such an amazing football player. He couldn't even play games in his high school. They were so stuffed with people, they had to take him to a junior college. So he would get thousands of people in the stands, and we're trying to recreate that energy that was supporting Brian that all got taken away from him when he was falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit. Mm-hmm. So we need Memphis to show us some love. Yes, yes. So not not only are you supporting the movie, but you're supporting the city. You're supporting Whitehaven. You, it, it's just all support. So you know. Yeah, y'all, it's y'all not come, just come this is out. this is not just a one off Hollywood thing. Like I live here about seventy percent of the year. My family helped to found St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I mm-hmm. got involved with the University of Memphis five years ago. I'm now involved with Lemoyne Owen College. We're trying to bring movies here on a regular basis. We've started something called Memphis Mountaintop Media. Uh, uh, Mountaintop because we're in the we're in Soulsville, which is where Martin Luther King gave his last speech. Mm-hmm. And we want to raise up a generation of young artists of color to tell their stories, to learn the craft, the movie making, storytelling craft. And we want them to uh, have the disciplines and the skills to be able to bring forth their art and their light. So this is all about not just the movie, but a more holistic idea of how we want Memphis to become a storytelling town. Exactly, because there's a lot of great stories here. Unbelievable stories. And and speaking of storytelling, because I, I want to make sure that everyone who listens know exactly who you are and what you have done. Yeah. Uh, so as far as, you know, directing and producing, can you just kind of tell us a couple of the projects you've worked on so everybody can see kind of the magnitude of what we're dealing with here? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been in the film business over 25 years, so I've had done three films with Jim Carrey. Uh, Ace Ventura was my first uh, feature. Uh, then um, I did The Nutty Professor uh, with uh, Eddie Murphy, Liar Liar with Jim again. Patch Adams with the beautiful, wonderful, amazing Robin Williams. Uh, Bruce Almighty again with Jim. I did Evan Almighty with Steve Carell. I produced a movie with Adam Sandler called I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. Um, I produced a movie uh, with Jonah Hill called Accepted. I've, I've done a lot of stuff, a documentary mm-hmm. called I Am. I've been around a long time, my yeah, friend. Yeah, so, so you see the magnitude of, uh, of, of who we have that's uh, investing, you know, their time and their talent here in the city. And now you're involved in the uh, the Brian Banks story. And uh, just a quick question, because I know somebody's going to ask, and somebody's probably wondering, why Memphis? Yeah, well, Memphis grabbed my heart. You know, I promised Memphis one semester of teaching, and then those deep stories, those Kids of color and, and, and youth who had been through so much, they had come from some drug addicted home, some homelessness, some abuse, but they had such a power about them. They were still uh, rocking their note. They were courageous enough to live out their story and to still give it a go every day. And that pulled me in. So um, I promised them one semester and I've been here over five years, um, spending more and more time here and eventually... Um, I was graced with a, a relationship with the Soulsville community where I met uh-huh. the Lemoyne Owen kids. And we have 30 of those kids on our, you know, I call them kids. They're, you know, 18 to 28. Um, but they're apprenticing on our movie. So we're teaching as we go. We're teaching them um, the art of makeup, the uh, hair, camera, lighting, my department, directing, writing, producing. And this crew has fallen in love with them. They're, they're great young people. They're, 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 they're not only bringing a great ethic, um, you know, a curiosity, but everyone recognizes here that these are the storytellers of the future stories that need to be told. Exactly. Exactly. And, um, as far as the, uh, I guess the impact of, of this film, you know, I know one of the, one of the ultimate goals is to bring more film projects, uh, to Memphis. I know, you know, just based off of my knowledge, we, we end up losing a lot of projects to other cities like, you know, New Orleans, Nashville, and, you know, surrounding cities and things like that. Uh, as far as the citizens here, uh, in Memphis, what can they do? Because I, I like to, you know, give a little accountability to everybody. What what can we do as uh, citizens of Memphis to basically help this cause and, and, and help more movies get here? Well, the first thing is Friday 
this Friday, tomorrow, the 13th, come out to Whitehaven High School and support this film. I mm-hmm. promised the producers that if we brought this film from L.A. to Memphis, they would show a level. They would be seen. A, they would see a level of support that they hadn't seen before. Because I believe in the soul of Memphis. Mm-hmm. You know, I believe that Tennessee is the volunteer state. So we need that volunteerism and that spirit to show up on Friday. And then I hope they'll come and see what we're doing in Soulsville and become a part of it. You know, we exactly. want people who have stories to tell. We want people who want to get involved in the movie business. Maybe they don't know what they want to do and we'll help to train them. Memphis needs an infrastructure that can support our business and mm-hmm. we don't have it yet to the level we need it. We don't even have a sound stage. We will bring a sound stage here once we get that community up and running. So just we want we want people if they're interested to not just think movies are out there and for those people on the west coast or up in new york but that we can be a part of this ourselves exactly exactly so i I want everybody listening right now to to basically know that we are on the hook so you know we got to get out there we got to show up we got to do what we got to do because you know the ball's in our court and we can't you know uh, complain when certain things don't, you know, materialize the way we think they should. It's going to take work from everybody. And uh, I definitely appreciate everything that you're you're doing and the liking and the love that you've taken, you know, for this city, because it's definitely, definitely needed. Well, I know you got to get back to it. Thank you for hanging out with me and, and talking to me. Appreciate Ladies and gentlemen, it. Mr. Tom Shadiak. Thank you, sir. God bless. Peace. It's my You're listening to the What's Happening Myron Radio Show.